another report you're likely to want to run after you have uh, entered some journal entries is the account balance report. So let's see how that works. Here I am in SAP. I've entered some journal entries. I've run my compact document journal, basically my journal entry report. Now I want to run the account balance report. So that you can see the T code for that is S underscore ALR underscore 8701. 2284. So when I go into that report, I get a couple things that I need to fill in. First, the chart of accounts. And if you can't remember what your chart of accounts is, you can always click on the lookup tool here. A lot of the fields in um, SAP will have a little lookup uh, tool that you can bring up. Some may require you to enter some uh, lookup parameters or filters first. But here I just uh, get into the list of chart of accounts and I see, oh yeah, GL. That's what my chart of accounts began with. I'm using company 66 right now, so I'm going to use chart of accounts GL66. Then I go down here and I see the company code I need is uh, US66. That's the company I've been working with. Then as I scroll down here, I can see under the further selections tab, which financial statement version to run. The first time you run this, you'll have to choose one. The one we want to use is BAUS, and you can also use the look up there. And as I open it up, I can see, okay, that's uh, basically a financial statement, a US-based basic financial statement. Reporting year 2025. Another thing I'll do is I'll often make it just for period one to make sure I'm not including any transaction activity that I accidentally posted outside of period one because we're working in period one. You wanna make sure you have period one correct and you don't want to post any information outside of period one. All right, now I execute the report and you can see what I get is a list of account codes, the account name, uh, which company it's for, and of course it should all be your company. And then as I scroll up and down, I can see the current balance for that account. So this is basically a snapshot trial balance. The current balance for that account, 174,863 for my 100,000 bank account account. The comparison period is, well, here it's showing us what the balance was last year in period one because we're starting up a brand new company and transferring balances over there is no comparison balance so that's going to be all zeros and then you can see the absolute difference uh, is going to be your account balance so that doesn't provide a whole lot of information because we don't have any balances to compare with as the company continues operations then of course uh, year over year comparisons become more meaningful all right so the only Areas you really need to focus on in this report are your company code, account code, the account balance again, the positive numbers indicate a debit balance, the negative numbers with the minus sign out to the right indicate a credit balance, and of course down at the bottom you'll see that the trial balance nets to zero. All right, so that is the financial statement. Again, as you enter more information, uh, the report doesn't auto refresh. So what you need to do is click the back button. You can go ahead and keep all your parameters the same, re-execute, and then any updated balances will come through. All right, so that's it for uh, getting your financial balances for your accounts. Good luck.